All right, what's up everyone? Welcome back. You guys have been waiting for the, uh, the update video to the uh, truck bed camper and the two-month road trip I'm taking this summer. So that's what we're doing today. I'm going to go ahead and walk through everything that I've done and talk about the, uh, <laughs> the adventure I went on trying to get this topper. Okay, so yeah. Um, back after I did the first build, I uh, went ahead and I built the bed platform and everything and kind of scoped out what I wanted to do inside. And I started calling around trying to find a topper. Couldn't find a used one. So I called ARE um, and they said, hey, if you, if you order one right now, it'll be here before Memorial Day. I was like, okay, that'll work. So I'm leaving, you know, middle, second week of June or whatnot. So ordered that in. Um, they called me uh, maybe a week before Memorial Day and said it was being shipped. It would be here the following Wednesday and they would install it before Memorial Day. So I was like, cool. They, you know, the last thing they said though was, uh, we'll send you a confirmation. So I didn't get the confirmation. So I called them on Thursday and found out that the camper had not been built. It hadn't been shipped and it wasn't scheduled to be shipped or built until the end of June going into July probably getting at the end of July. Um, and that was, they, were, they weren't super optimistic about that because they were having a shortage on fiberglass. So, uh, got online real quick, started looking around, couldn't find a used one. Uh, so I called Decked and I thought, you know, if nothing else, I'll just use the slides and I'll sleep in the bed or I'll sleep in my back seat like I have in the past. And I would use, you know, the inside of there for storage and lock it up and it'd be waterproof. Um, so I ordered that. They said it'd be here the following Wednesday after Memorial Day. So I woke up Saturday morning and I started looking around and I expanded my search by like 500 miles, uh, which got me into like Oklahoma City. And sure enough, there was a guy there who had a Nissan Titan Pro 4X. It was a red one. Um, and he, he didn't want the camper shell anymore. So it was a little bit out of my budget, but I was kind of getting, um, <laughs> kind of running against the deadline. I was ready to go. So I was I reached out to him and asked him if he'd meet me. I was going to pay a little bit more. Um, but as soon as we agreed that he would meet me, he found a trailer. Uh, he called me back like five minutes later, and as he was getting this out of the, uh, he had secured it up in his patio, he dropped it. Uh, he said one of the buckles uh, gave way in the, the clamp, so it came down on its head, uh, scratched up pretty bad. So he, he called me pretty quickly and was like, hey man, I dropped it, it's bad, it's damaged. Um, do you still want it? And he's like, you're gonna have to paint it. I'll knock $500 off so you could fix it. And I just kind of laughed because I was thinking, Oh yeah, now I definitely want it, um, but you don't really know me. I have no intention of painting that. That's gonna just sit on my truck and work. So, uh, you know, asked him if he'd meet me. We agreed at like, meet at like five o'clock. So I started driving about noon. Met in Fort Smith um, and I got a, a, a camper show. So that's what I've been doing for the last week. Uh, I'm just gonna walk through and kind of go through everything. The first thing I found, we found a leak. Uh, one of the, uh, it comes with the, the tracks. So I had a repair that leak right there. Um, the front gasket's gonna have to be replaced, so I'm still gonna do that. But other than that, everything I've done so far is done. So that's the last two things. Um, and we're just gonna, I'll just go through because I know you guys have been waiting to hear about some, some things that I've done. So I got 100, 100 watt portable solar. I grabbed a marine uh, battery um, and a, a thousand watt inverter. Um, basically I'm running LED lights. Those are cool because they have some 3M backing and they just snap up there. And I have some 3M those are like Christmas light holders. So I ran a few of those just to kind of hold it up there and give it something extra to hang on to. But uh, the battery, the inverter, the fan, it's all running right now. And I think it's pulling 30 watts. So uh, it's a 115 watt battery. It cost me $90. Uh, I was going to try to get a decoded lithium and I had a friend who had a connection. Uh, after about two months of trying to get one, he, you know, we just couldn't get it worked out. So I couldn't afford to pay full price for a, you know, it's like a five or $600 battery. So I felt like for what I'm doing, basically just running some lights and a fan uh, and charging GoPro batteries, I don't need a $500 battery for that. There's definitely some things I need to improve on and I'll list those at the end, but uh, the battery is one of those. I want to get one of those refrigerators because right now I'm just planning on doing coolers and I'm already dreading the ice. But let's just jump into the build because I know it's what you really got, you guys really want to know about. So uh, six inch memory foam mattress. I wanted something comfortable because I'm going to be sleeping in this for a while. Uh, it was a little bit long, so you can kind of tell the panels are a little bit different sizes. I had to cut this right away, so it's got some, because my bed's like 69 inches. But the good thing is, it fits snug. When you push it up, it doesn't move, so it closes up good. So that's pretty cool. Uh, didn't have the mattress last time. I had the built a platform, and I've already done some improvements on that, so I'll show you that as well. But the slide, put the handles on. 
went ahead and uh, put sides on because there's just no way I could get anything out of there. That was wishful thinking, but basically anything, even that big, won't fit. So didn't want anything falling out and sliding around, so I closed it off, put some dividers in. Some things I'm carrying with me. My big stove, I got propane, this connects to that and this connects to inside of here so I can burn that off. There's also this attachment that I can put on and that will allow me to refill some of these. That way if I'm standing in my, you know, can't get out and it's, it's rainy or whatnot, I can actually do like my one burner Coleman stove and, and still cook some meals. I uh, also have a backpacking stove, an MSR stove, water filter, uh, extra sunscreen, some fuel, my coffee maker, uh, press. I've got some some utensils and some pots and pans. Uh, backpacking lantern, lots of light. Headlamp, tape, things like that. Got a, uh, a grill for hiking and camping, things like that. Like if you don't want to carry the... Uh, I had the old the, the Sawyer, the small one. It was cool, but kind of got tired of trying to find a water bottle every time. So that's the slides, basically all my camping stuff. I'm going to keep my food inside the back seat with my coolers. And I have a second spare. And it basically, if I slide my front seat up a little bit, my spare will sit down behind my seat and I can set one cooler on top of that and set the other cooler on the other side. And I can put two uh, basically like plastic totes of food up behind the seat, maybe even slide one here. So, got my propane sitting in a you know milk carton, but I, I wrote, it's, it's raised a little bit so I can slide this in and out like this. I'm not gonna do it all the way because I have the battery on it and it's kind of heavy, but you get the idea. Uh, yeah, built some storage over here to get this up. And I'm basically just using this as a catch for just random stuff, like things that if I'm cooking and I need to do it in the inside here, I can throw some backpacking meals in there, uh, some canned food, some clothes, just you know anything that basically I don't really need like dedicated storage for them. It's just you know something quick and easy, jackets, whatever, um, and out of the way. My daughter built the uh, the curtains. Those are those are fun. She wanted her own little touch on here, so and she's got another one to come through on the back window. Um, I do have a mosquito net, bug net, and it's just attached with Velcro. You can see up there it runs across the top. I have some ties in, to kind of tie those back so it's out of the way. And my water situation. I have two of these six gallon water jugs. I've had those for a long time, but that's what I use for all my my backpacking or my truck camping trips. Uh, I'll touch on this in a little second. I think I talked about the solar panel. to charge my batteries up when I need. This is storage for just tools, saws, uh, hand tools, whatnot. I have a couple of these cranks here to keep this bed from moving around. Uh, one of the biggest improvements I made, and somebody mentioned it. I'll try to get in here falling down and kill myself. Put this here. So one of the biggest improvements I made was I didn't have I didn't have access to the middle list to begin with last last time I did a video. So I went ahead and cut open this, uh, added some hinges in the back, and now I can get access while I'm in here. So this has been super cool. And I just grabbed an extra piece of three-quarter plywood, and it fits there. Might get fancy and do a hinge that pops up. More than likely, I won't. That's that. That's the bed. Got a couple of MSR things, not MSR, um, mountain, at, uh, the mountain house mill pla plastic toast that they send you stuff in. So I have a couple of those, probably do dishes, but if nothing else, it's just more storage. Um, so there's a good look at the marine battery. It's just a deep cycle battery, uh, thousand watt inverter. And like I said, 12.3 volts in right now. It's a 115 volt battery and it's kicking out 30 watts being used. So uh, between charging my cell phone, GoPro running this, it should last probably a couple weeks on just a regular charge. I also have a uh, an old battery charger and I can kick into a campground every now and then if I can't get enough solar power to, to you know recharge this, spend a night, spend 30 bucks and stay on the campground and charge my battery and then go get off the grid some more. Um, but yeah, you can see just random stuff like this, alcohol and wipes and dish detergent, laundry detergent and more propane. Straps in this one. Just some random stuff to hold things because it's just kind of didn't want anything super complicated i uh, don't really feel like i need it but like i said one of the reasons why i did the bed the way i did it so i could sit in here oh <laughs> i like it it's so cool i'm super excited to get going so um 
think that pretty much talks about everything I've done. Okay, so the biggest DIY project that I had to do when I got back was uh, find a place to secure my, my fuel and carry it. Uh, some of the places in Idaho I was looking, it was like 100 miles to the gas station um, into the, you know, off the grid into the wilderness. So uh, the ARA shell that I had originally had a, it was going to come with a Yakima rack. Um, unfortunately, when it didn't come in, I had to kind of just find what I could. And the one, it has the tracks, but everything's out of stock. So it's a Thule, Thule rack um, is what I need. And I'm guessing the other aftermarket would work as well. The problem is I can't find them. They're all out of stock. And even if I could, I don't have time really to get it here. So without a basket, I was going to secure these on top of that in, in, the, uh, in the roof basket. And then since I don't have that, I had to come up with something else. So what I did was I just bought a couple of these. And what I originally was going to do is mount it. Um, you can see does the side or does the bottom. And it has little places where you could do some bolts through the bottom. And I was going to mount it on the basket. So, um, unfortunately, the rack didn't come in, so I had to do something else. So what I've done, just grab some metal from the uh, local hardware store, some stainless bolts, bolted those through. Um, and I grabbed a cargo basket, took the wings off. And it's got a 500 pound capacity and it drops and lowers so i can drop it out of the way uh and i'll raise it up here in just a second and show you what it looks like when i'm driving but that's what i've done um like i said it took that was the, the biggest project because i knew i needed uh a place to, to keep my, my fuel with you know by the time you drive 100 miles in drive around for you know a week or two weeks and then try to drive back with it my truck gets about 330 miles so uh, the range and just wasn't working for me so that's what i've got going on some other things i've got uh obviously bear spray fire extinguisher this is my air compressor to air up and air down uh, a big thing that i've done was go ahead and get a spot and i've been using this for the last couple trips and it's been cool my wife is she's able to get my messages and check in and she gets the gps so she knows what i'm doing um yeah i think that's pretty much it uh improvements i need to make um obviously i'm running coolers this trip two coolers two orions and running ice is kind of a pain uh, i'd love to have one of those refrigerators and i almost like last minute almost you know went in and got one um but it's kind of already getting kind of cramped and i felt like it would take up the majority of this space here and the, the battery i have is you know i don't know how much those those pull on a charge but that's another six five six hundred dollars by itself but probably worth it in the long run so probably gonna do that's probably the first improvement i'm gonna make um yeah spare tire and fuel i definitely gonna try to find something another something that swings away because i felt like I, it has to get out of the way so i can get in and out but i don't necessarily want it on this I'd love to be able to get this over here uh, and carry my spare tire here and open up the rest of my back seat for everything I'm gonna do. Uh, the biggest other thing I'm gonna do, because I'm not, I don't, I can't carry my rod locker this time, is get the racks, probably get a basket. So, and probably improve my battery situation because on this trip, I'm not really doing anything. I don't have any, nothing fancy, but by the time you add a refrigerator and whatever other things, lights and maybe some outside lights and things like that to really you know improve your living situation um you start pulling up power uh like a coffee maker like i thought oh cool man i'll grab a an electric coffee maker instead of like pressing and having to deal with that every day but i started looking at the wattage pulling that and you know you you would just chew your battery up all right guys that's pretty much all i got for this video uh hope you enjoyed it hope i put together a uh, a complete list i probably missed a few things um and i'll do a i'll do a better job of adding some stuff as i'm going i don't really know what my situation will be like I'm definitely going to a lot of places that don't have cell phone service uh, or internet service, but if I can get into a hotel room every now and then, I might try to put some stuff out there. But otherwise, uh, you might hear from me in about two months, um, other than Instagram, things like that, that I can do uh, without a lot of internet connection. But uh, if you have any suggestions or you see anything that I've missed or I can improve upon, uh, I, I definitely appreciate any, uh, any help. This is my first time doing this, so um, some of the things I've already added, I braced the legs, somebody mentioned that, um, I cut in made a way and added some hinges so I could get into my storage. And that's been huge so far because I sure couldn't get it. And those are all off comments. So yeah, if you have anything like that, please add them. Um, and I'll, you know, I have about a week before I leave. So I'll try to get to it, but yeah, I'm excited about it. So that's all I got. Thanks for watching the video guys.